Welcome to Spinelli Speaks. Danny here. Welcome back to my channel. It's Thursday, which means it is time for a rapid review. And if you've been watching my channel the last couple of days, I've been really getting totally engrossed in graphic novels, illustrated novels, anything that has pictures in it. I don't know if my mind is just wanting to be able to see more visual things, but I've just been like devouring graphic novels in the last couple of days. I think after my big month of filming all of those videos, I just wanted a little bit of a break in but still reading. So I have read a couple of graphic novels, one of which I'm going to talk about today, um, which I really enjoyed, and that is uh, Tea Louise, uh, the best we could do. Now, this is an illustrated memoir, um, so not so much a graphic novel. It is um, a little bit of a bigger one, um, but it was fabulous. I really enjoyed it. I was recommended this by Laura at Book Bubbler, and I am going to go ahead and give you 60 seconds of why I thought this book was good. This is a remarkable memoir that starts and ends with a beginning. We first meet the narrator when she goes into labor and she begins to contemplate the meaning of mother and child. This narrative evolves into a story of both her mother and father in Vietnam, including their escape to the United States. I love the way this story is presented and the graphics as well as the aesthetic of only that orange color almost a watercolor effect. There were a few areas that confused me, and for that I did give it a four star rating. However, I highly recommend this illustrated memoir, as it really encompassed a solid narrative, exceptional imagery, and an engrossing content. And that's all I'm going to share on this one. I, like I said, rated this four stars and highly recommend. So until next time, guys, I hope you are reading something great, taking care and staying safe. And you know how it goes. Happy reading. Bye.